Yeah, yeah. All right, you handsome devil. Next slide. That's the real deal. <laughs> I don't ever say that. <laughs> she just made that up. Oh, all right. Let's listen to the these girls. Men are really simple creatures. Oh yeah, they, all creatures. they want if you want to keep a man, he likes respect, keep his balls drained, keep his stomach fed, and give him peace. That was actually yes. Uh, <laughs> she that, just, that was, that was what? That, that yes. was my question for the panel. I was going to ask what do men want? She just literally named okay, every like, single but thing. Men are really simple creatures. I think the point of contention was the last line given peace yeah and most men know that women don't actually bring peace into their lives at the end of the day I, look at that face that's a good Tell me more. yeah, yeah. They, they can drain your balls they can definitely feed you but if you think that getting into a relationship is going to simplify your life you would be mistaken it will make it as girls like to say, more interesting. He's he's not as interesting without me, she'll say. So I think that was the that was a somebody had used that clip and I'd come across it. Yeah. And they, they had pulled that one part out. They're like, the front end's okay, but you never actually get in with a girl thinking, I feel so much more calm. I work so much less. Yeah. There's there's all these other things. And True or not, I think there's a point there. But the front end, too, and maybe what he means, because I always say this, most guys are happy if they can like go to work, come home and have regular sex, and not get bitched at. Yeah. Well, and, and, and from the female perspective watching that video, that's what I'm hearing. Right. The, the give him peace, it's not... She's, make his life better. She's not saying make sure he has a peaceful life. Right. He, she's saying don't be a cunt. Right. Don't be, don't go after him all the time. Right. Don't like dig for things to bitch at him about. She's very much, to my female perspective, saying, "Yes, don't bitch at him all the time. Exactly. Don't hound him about things all the time. Yeah. Don't nitpick the the laundry list of do things that need to." Be so done. much of this is framing. Yeah, and you can make yourself miserable. Yeah, with the wrong framing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I was like, "Well, what do you mean, people? I mean, but." Yes. No. She, yes. If a girl can like restrain herself from yeah. actually complicating or, or aggravating his already challenging life. Right. Yes. She's going to be a welcome. Well, we always say that, that women are meant to compliment, not compete. Exactly. And now, if she can do that, that's bringing yes. peace. And, but Bunny knows the vast majority of girls. Can't do it. They just can't do it. Her friends, family. Girlfriends over time. Yeah. She's got a good solid group, but the story she's told, <laughs> you know, I mean, and girls know way better than the guys do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yes. I still thought that was good though. It was solid. Yeah. How many girls can actually do the first two even? Keep his balls drained and. Yeah. How many, girl, how many girls that are married? And they've got two kids at the house and they're all under five and her priorities to make sure that her husband is like sexually satisfied. Yeah. If things get pushed to the side. I think, I think the problem there is, I mean, I was fortunate in that I had, what? Well, you're like, I don't know what she, you're about to say. She was like 21 and 23 is the first thing that you're fortunate when you have kids. Yeah. You're young, fun. you know, I mean, you got, you got energy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I also had a grandmother who immediately said, "Oh yeah, here are the tricks to making sure that your children are raised." You know, and it, one of them was like, actually have a schedule and stick to it. You know, all these different things that essentially meant that as a mother, my life was able to run pretty smoothly, predictably. Yes. Yes. Because I, as soon as she said that, I said, "Okay," and I implemented all of it. I might have implemented most of it to begin with because that's just my nature, but it was reinforcing because she's, you know, 70 years old yeah. at the time and she's saying this is how it works best. So therefore, at 7.30 in the evening, and this is up through almost junior high, 
from 7.30 when they would have to go to bed, whether they were old enough to read or just go to bed. That's a lot of adult time you can have. You mentioned that. You talked about that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so that's, I mean, the schedule thing is just one of those things. I mean, as a baby, I established a sleep schedule immediately. Like all of these items that meant that I was still fresh and had gotten everything else done so that I could have adult time with my husband, you know. And make no mistake, most women don't run their household tight. Yeah. They, there is no structure. They're on the phone on social media at midnight. They're watching true crime at 1 a.m. Yeah. Her husband's up at 5. He's walking out the door. Yeah. She drops the kids off at school, comes home and goes back to bed. It's true. You know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of that. There, she's a, a 16 year old girl with the Cadillac Escalade <laughs> and a credit card, and nobody's really watching her. Right. And so it's kind of a mess as opposed to like structure. Yeah. And you know what you used to do. It's true. It's but. true. I mean, because I've talked to Bunny, you know, because we met when she was late 30s and I was like, 40s or 50s yeah and he goes so you know how how did you raise your kids because it was like 20 years ago and she's like oh they were in bed by 7 7 30. yeah because you know, some of these girls kill themselves yeah you know even if the kid doesn't go to bed till like eight or nine that's a huge difference right you know right i don't know how we got off on such a tangent talking about balls drain what were we balls talking drain, about balls drain oh, you said stomach you, fill. you said but how often can girls actually do right that because right they've got kids running around and stuff like that Plus, I, I still abide by the the one of the first rules of, of child rearing is teaching them that closed doors mean yeah. closed doors. You know, yeah. I mean, that's a, I'm all, I'm just giving a little teaching, a little parenting lesson here. Anyway, this is what happens when I have my coffee. I know we, we lose track, but we're glad you're here. Yeah, I hope we haven't lost you. These <laughs> these young guys are like, yeah, I don't want that. Or or a wife. Yeah, seriously. just one girl. All right. Sister wives. <laughs>